The Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute, along with our partners the Georgia Department of Natural Resources and the Conestoga River Alliance, undertook a joint project over this past year to improve spring habitat in Colvard Spring, which is in Murray County, Georgia. This is an important spring because it drains right into the Conestoga River, which is a hot spot of aquatic biodiversity. And since the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute, our mission is to protect aquatic biodiversity. It was important to improve the spring, not just for the darters that live within it, but for all the animals downstream in the Conestoga River. What had happened is about 30 years ago, the area around the spring had been completely cut, clear cut. Um, and there were no trees left protecting the spring, and so every time it rained, all the rain would take all this sediment from the surrounding land and just put it right into the spring, and it slowly filled in with dirt, essentially. Last October, we went out there and we first spent two days catching every fish and salamander we could out of this spring, and we held them in our hatchery facility at Cahutta, Georgia. Um, and they lived there for about a month, and then after we got all those animals removed from the spring, we went in with a giant vacuum. Um, and this was a vacuum that had a big trash pump that sits on a boat that we tow around the spring with us, and then a huge hose attached to that, which is about a three inch diameter. And we would suck all the sediment up from the spring, and it, this slurry of sediment and water ended up on a neighboring field, and we let it dry out there for about a month, and then we scooped that up and toted it away. Um, I actually visited the spring yesterday in February 2010, so that was about four months after we had done the work. Um, we easily caught cold water darters from the site, and what was more exciting to us is the aquatic vegetation had very quickly responded and started um, moving back into the new areas that were more silt-free. And so that's a very good sign. That's good habitat for these darters and good for the vegetation as well. And so we can already see recolonization in the areas where there used to be deep deposits of silt. We're very excited by the success of this program so far. It's cold water darters need both access to gravel and access to the aquatic vegetation to hide in. So the fact that we were able to see those in the dead of winter um, means that it should be a really good year for the darters this year. They'll have a nice clean spring to live in and we want to see if we can try to expand this project to other areas throughout the Coosa River drainage.